Hi everyone! This video will help you understand some of the most important advantages of using the user management feature. The first question you need to ask yourself is, do I really need multiple user accounts? It is possible to share your Price to Spy account with your colleagues, and all of you will be able to use it simultaneously with the same login credentials. However, there are some downfalls to using a single account. If more people use the same Price to Spy account, you will have no ability to distinct which user made the changes within your Price to Spy account. So, all users will be able to delete, add and modify your products. User management will enable you to use our tool more efficiently and help organize the work done on Price to Spy within your team. Also, while giving each user their own virtual space within an account, it also provides full data transparency, so you can see who made any changes in your account and when. Who can use the user management feature? User management is available to our premium users starting from Price to Spy medium price plan, so please keep this in mind when subscribing. In Price to Spy, there are three types of users, each with its own privileges. In short, the administrator has all permissions on Price to Spy account, so he has full access to all Price to Spy operations, like adding products, editing products, creating reports, strategies, widgets. He can also manage other users' accounts. The manager can do all regular operations within a Price to Spy account. However, he cannot change account settings, perform changes to user accounts, nor perform link my store operations. The reader is only able to browse and read the data in Price to Spy account, execute reports, but he cannot add, modify or remove products. Let's see how we can create a new user. Remember, the administrator is the only one who can do this, so I'm logged in as an account owner. All I need to do is click on my profile name and then select user management. I will get a list of all current users. To add a new user, I will simply click on the add user button. You can choose different options for this user, but the most important one is the type, since this defines the right this user will have in this account. For example, I will create a test user and make it a manager under my account. So choose the desired settings and click Save. Now we are in a manager's account. You will notice that we have all the administrator options, but I cannot make any changes in the account settings. Also, I don't have access to user management, so I'm not able to make any changes there either. Finally, the third type of user we offer is a reader. We are now in a reader's user account. You will notice that this user can fully browse the data, execute reports and create widgets for his own personalized dashboard. However, if you take a look at the far right column in the My Products page, you will notice that the reader cannot modify or delete products. And also, the Add New Product button is missing as well, so we cannot create new products from a reader's account. A reader can also create and export reports, but cannot automate them. How can you check which user made any changes in your account? When you click on a specific product, you will be able to see which user made the changes and when by entering the product details. Here, I can see the name of the user who added the product and made the last change. You will also notice there is a timestamp here, which shows when were the changes made. Each Price to Spy user is able to maintain his own user settings, like password change, language, page size, starting page, all in the My Profile section. Further, each user has its own personalized dashboard with its own individual widgets. And last but not least, each user can save its own reports with its own filtering criteria. There are some special types of users which you will also notice in your account, depending on the features you're using. For example, Price to Spy Administrator. These are the changes made by our support or data entry team. Price to Spy API shows that a change was made through API access. Price to Spy EI were changes made with the Link My Store operation. Price to Spy Automatch URLs added by Automatch. Price to Spy Auto Suggest or URLs that were entered through a matching suggestion. Price to Spy Import, 
or changes made by our development team via imports, updates, etc. Price to Spy fixed URLs for URLs that were automatically added after a reported issue has been fixed. In case you need any help using the user management feature, please feel free to contact us at support at pricetospy.com.